in the kitchen with Lucy Greer from Greer's. Lucy, great to see you as always. Thank you, you too. We are working on a super soup today. <laughs> we are. We are working on a very quick weeknight meal, or of okay. course a weekend meal too. We're making a creamy Italian soup, mm. and we don't have too many ingredients, and it comes together really quickly. So what I already did in this pot is I just put one pound of sausage. You can use breakfast sausage or Italian sausage, whatever you want. Can and I use hot sausage? Yes, yes, hot okay. sausage, mild sausage. Um, and you could also just completely omit the sausage and just do this as a meat-free meal. You oh, could yeah. switch that chicken broth to veggie broth and um, you could just omit the sausage and it would be just as good. We're going to add um, some mini ravioli later mm. and, um, and fill it out. So you could definitely make this meat-free. So I'm just gonna turn this heat up and we're gonna let these uh, peppers and onions, or just one green, one yellow um, bell pepper, and just a small onion. And we're just gonna let this cook with the sausage for about 12 minutes until that sausage cooks through. I saw one of those funny meme things on the social media uh -huh. that said like, when you see a pot this size come out, you know you're eating the same thing for the next three days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so true. I know. Um, I like to space out my leftovers so uh -huh. we don't have to eat them like, you know, day in and day out. I'm going to turn it to this burner. Sure. But key with this is that you can make it and serve a lot of people yes. and have it for meals to come and all that sort of stuff. Absolutely. Yes. It would be great for meal prep too. You could take it for lunches and um, eat on it for as long as you want. Eat on it. Yeah, eat on it. Hey, so uh, so this is a great everyday weekday thing that you can make, uh, but we also want to talk about there is a holiday coming up this weekend. Yes, Valentine's Day is upon us, yes. um, and so we have lots of fun things going on in our stores. Um, we're doing chocolate-covered strawberries, Ooh. which if you haven't tried our chocolate-covered strawberries before, they are the absolute best strawberries <laughs> you can buy. They, um, The chocolate that we use is so delicious. Um, so if you, um, when we were younger, um, mom would uh, always let us make our own chocolate covered strawberries, but that's kind of, um, you know, quite a few steps. So if you don't want to make your own, go to Greer's and buy them. Cool. And we also have in the meat department, which I think this is what I'm going to do for, for me and Spiro for Valentine's Day. We always like to cook for Valentine's Day. I yeah. bet y'all do too. Yeah, for sure. Um, but we have these uh, sweetheart ribeye steaks. Nice. Um, so they, they look like a heart and they're um, super great um, quality. All of our steaks are still cut in house by um, people in our meat departments. Nothing comes in um, already done. So um, the men and women are back there ready to cut any thickness you want. You know, if you don't see what you want in the case, then just ask somebody there. We'll be happy to cut you something special. All right, plan now so you have something special come mm -hmm. the special time this weekend. We're going to be right back with Lucy in just a bit to continue working on this creamy Italian soup. Welcome back in the kitchen with Lucy from Greer's. This is smelling great in here right now. It is. We're working on our creamy Italian soup. So we have in our big soup pot a pound of sausage. And we also added one onion, a green, and a yellow bell pepper. So this has been cooking for about, you know, five to eight minutes. And we have that almost cooked all the way through. So we're going to add some of our spices. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and this chipotle chili powder. Ooh, yeah. And so we're just going to add it in here to waken um, these spices a little bit before we add all of our liquid. If you let your, your dried herbs and spices hit the heat, it just accentuates the flavors um, before you add everything else. I like that. I like accentuating the Accentuate flavors. Accentuate those flavors. Of the herbs and spices. So yep. that's good stuff. You got some cream cheese. You got some tomatoes. Yeah. So we're going to add one can of diced um, Italian tomatoes mm -hmm. and one can of fire roasted tomatoes. And if you didn't want any heat in this, mm -hmm. then you could just add uh, two cans of the Italian tomatoes and you didn't have to add those fire roasted, but it's going to give us um, just a little bit of extra um, extra kick in there. Yeah, a little bit of extra flavor too. Another kind of just differentiation there. Yeah, so now I'm going to add six cups of chicken broth and we're going to bring this up to a boil and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. And then um, later on, we're going to fill it out with 
um, some little frozen ravioli that I like to use. I like that. And you mentioned earlier too, which I think a lot of people are still at that point where we're just six weeks in trying to maintain their New Year's resolutions. Some of those people are trying not to eat meat or for Lent coming up. Some people might be working on that and stuff too. So this is a recipe that you can uh, do for all of that. Absolutely. Yes, you could just omit the sausage in this and or if you were limiting carbs, then you could just omit the uh, ravioli at the end. Yeah. So we're also going to put oh, but it's some. so good. Oh. No, it's so good. And I'm using like, you know, we'll see them. I just have them in the freezer now because I don't want to pull them out too soon because if you pull them out too soon um, from the freezer, then they'll all stick together. <laughs> so we want them to remain separate. Or of course you could use a tortellini mm -hmm. or you could just use um, any kind of shortcut pasta as well. Or if you were being really good, you could just omit the pasta um, all together, but that's hard. Why, why, why is, why is that? I don't know. Why aren't things that are like high in carbs and fat, why isn't that like the good stuff? I don't know. I always think if you didn't have to sleep or eat to live, then life would be a lot easier, but we'd be out of a job because um, yes. we bank on people <laughs> having to eat. <laughs> for the last 105 years for us to stay in business. It's, it's hard to imagine a world like that, Lucy, but you, you <laughs> made me think this morning. All right, so we are working on that. Keep yeah. careers in mind for all of your Valentine's Day mm -hmm. stuff, especially if you are cooking at home or want to make some of those chocolate-covered strawberries. Yes. We'll be right back to finish this soup up in just a bit. Welcome back into our cooking segment today with Lucy from Greer's. We're talking about this Italian soup. We were actually just talking. You actually had a chance to go to Italy a while back. Yes, we, um, my sister and I and a few of my cousins, we backpacked through Europe when um, I was in college. And Man. Italy, I know, it was really a neat experience. Lots of different countries. And um, I was just telling you, I hadn't been back to Europe. Um, besides our honeymoon, we went to Greece. Um, but Italy is a gorgeous place. And um, in this... Uh, we kind of have some of the Italian colors in here. Yeah. Green for our spinach, red for our tomatoes, white for the onion. Um, a lot of fresh veggies in this Italian soup we're making. Um, so we started with uh, some sausage. And one tip, you know, sometimes when you're cooking with bulk sausage, it'll, um, you know, it's big clumps. Yes. And it's hard to break it up. Well, one tip to make it into small pieces like ground beef is start with a with a cold pot and put the sausage in first and before the pot is heated and start breaking it up with your spatula and then turn the heat on and it'll um, just crumble up a lot easier for you. See oh, that? Oh, that's great. Yeah. So then we added, um, with our sausage, we added some red, I mean some yellow and some green bell pepper mm -hmm. and some onion. We just cooked that and then we added a can of Italian style tomato and a can of fire roasted tomatoes and six cups of chicken broth and we brought that up to a boil and then I just added in half a bag of fresh spinach. I just love to add spinach or kale when I'm making soups. It's just an easy way to get another veggie in there. Yeah. Um, and so now that uh, our our soup is simmered for about 20 minutes or so and the veggies have gotten soft. It's time to add our, I'm using frozen bite-sized cheese ravioli. This is just a 22 ounce bag. Or of course you could use um, a tortellini and it doesn't have to be the frozen one. You could um, get this out of the refrigerated section, um, any kind of pasta you like, or um, you could throw some dried macaroni in here or gnocchi would be great. Um, that would go with the Italian theme. Yes. So um, these we want to add at the end because we don't want to overcook our pasta. So this is only going to take a few minutes um, to cook. And when I add the pasta, I'm going to add in just a half a block of cream cheese and just let that melt in. It'll make it nice and creamy for us. This is looking great. I am getting hungry <laughs> watching this soup come together. So great dish to make for the family if you want leftovers, if you're meal prepping, a lot of great ideas with this. Mm -hmm. And before we go on this segment too, a last minute reminder about Valentine's Day. Yes, you can get all of your chocolate covered strawberries, steaks, wine, um, everything you need for a meal at home for Valentine's Day. Or if you don't feel like going in the store, of course you can shop online. We'll do the shopping for you. So grooves.com slash shop um, or download our free app and we will shop for you or you can get it delivered. So great. Guys, we're going to have this recipe for this Italian creamy soup that looks so <laughs> good on the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com and of course as we mentioned the Greer's app and the Greer's website for all of that great information. Lucy thank you so much. Thank you.
happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.